Hello again, this is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener. Today we're going to learn how to install a stepping pad in just a few minutes. So, stepping pads are typically where you put hose bibs and you want to have a nice stable surface. This was a quick little project we did. Uh, it took about 10 minutes and everything in this video cost a total of $40. Alright, so this was the old stepping stones. Kind of, kind of unstable, not safe, especially when it got muddy. And we wanted to change that up for something really, really safe. Um, so first, obviously, is we want to excavate down a couple inches because we're going to build back up from that hole. And the reason we build back up is the second part is add some road base. Now, road base is really important because this material compacts really nicely and it gives a nice stable surface. We want to always build stable surfaces underneath stepping stones, pavers, all those things. So add a little bit of road base. You don't need to do as much as if you're doing a paver patio, but you still need some. All right, so compact that down and, and you can use anything to compact it. This guy actually just used the old pavers to the old stepping stones to kind of smack it down and compact it nicely. Obviously you can use a tamper, anything nice and heavy. You're just trying to get it nice and flat as possible to get it nice and solid. You don't have to worry about this being level because that's the next step. So next we're going to add a little bit of leveling sand about another inch as well and again this is all going to be compacted down the purpose of the leveling sand is to actually create a flat level surface for the stepping stones um, and as always we want to make a nice stable surface so add the leveling sand and then you can kind of mix it around and flatten it out by hand and then after you flatten it out by hand that's when you have to actually get out the big level so this is a, a three foot level that you see here and what we're doing here is just making sure that everything is nice and level adjust it add a little more sand if you need to but here's where you're actually checking your level and kind of screening that sand into a nice flat surface to make it nice and compact. You want to get it almost perfect here. You don't have to get it perfect perfect. We're going to do that at the very end. But you want it to be really nice and level because these are heavy stepping stones that you're about to see. Each one of these stepping stones uh, weigh about 37 pounds. They are one by two stepping stones and they actually lock together. So we want to make sure the surface is nice and compacted and level. And this again should only take a couple of minutes. All right, next we're going to lay the stepping stones. And by the way, there are links in the description for these stepping stones and the rock you're going to see later. I got these over at Lowe's. Uh, the item number is coming up in just a second. These are really cool. They're Belgard Trailway stepping stones. And the nice thing about these is that they kind of piece together so it looks like one continuous pathway and they're only seven dollars it's a really great deal the color is victorian it does come in different colors by the way so again you can find these at lowe's uh, these are the bell guard series stepping stones all right so once you have laid them in next you want to add some leveling sand in and around the cracks and the reason you do that is in between each stepping stone there's a seam and that is a potential area that could wobble over time and get unsafe so just throw a little bit of that same leveling sand that you got and put it in there you need about oh, you know about 10 pounds of leveling sand for a job like this um, for the bottom part and then also kind of to fill in all those cracks and again the purpose is you don't want the stones to move you want them to be nice and stable for a nice long time so kind of push that leveling sound down in there next step is we're going to add some decorative rock now the decorative rock serves two purposes one, because this is for a hose bib, there's inevitably going to be water all over the place. So we don't want mud coming up all over the stepping stones and becoming and creating a big mess. But more importantly, by putting stepping stones all the way around it and packing them nicely, this kind of, again, helps to hold the stepping stones nicely in place. Uh, again, these are Deco Rock. Uh, River Rock from Lowe's, and there's the item number should you want to just go shopping after you see this cool project. And uh, the next part of this is yeah, you just got to kind of check it. Obviously, with stepping stones this big, there's a chance of a little bitty wobble. So what you want to do, um, if you get a little bitty wobble, is just use those stepping stones and kind of shim it in there and pack it in nicely. And again, it just takes a couple minutes to kind of check the wobble, move the rock around, get it nice and tight, because you don't want 
want this thing wobbling um, ever, ever, ever. You know, the whole point of this is to have a really nice staple surface. So tuck those in. That's the last part. I actually have the last part. The last part is just rinse it all off. So there you go. Kind of rinse all that off. Um, get the dust off because usually stepping stones can get dusty in a yard. So rinse it all off. There you have it. 10 minutes, $40, nice, stable, very attractive stepping stone pad. Well, that's all the time we have for today. This is Doug, the Two Minute Gardener, saying thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to get more of my garden videos. Until next time, this is Doug saying thanks so much for watching.